Hey, happy, 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 beautiful, amazing day. Dr. Bob Rakowski here, truth speaker and truth seeker. We got June 5 of 2020, and today is our science and fact-based COVID update. So now we've identified what may be the absolute greatest risk of dying from COVID. Uh, and amazingly, it hasn't been addressed. We talked about diabetes, we talked about heart disease, we talked about obesity, we talked about a bunch of drugs, we talked about being very, very old, but these numbers will absolutely blow your mind. People ask, why should I listen to you? I'll give you the exact same answer every time. Please don't listen to me. You've got to listen to your heart, you've got to learn to be a critical thinker. Go look at the data and validate it for yourself and then exercise that critical thinking. Uh, I've been in clinical practice 28 years. I've treated world champions from every sport, people at the other end of the spectrum that were sent home to die. Very happy to say that many of them are still alive 25 years later. Uh, and I've taught doctors all over the world. So I like this Democratic Senator from New York, Daniel Patrick Moynihan. Uh, he said, everybody's entitled to their own opinions but not to their own facts. So we are going to share facts, and some of the facts today are from the uh, Pew Research Center, which by the way, it says is a nonpartisan uh, fact tank. And so what do they do? They generate a foundation of facts that enriches the public dialogue. If you have facts, you can talk intelligently and supports sound decision-making. They are nonprofit, nonpartisan, non-advocacy, they value independence, objectivity, accuracy, rigor, humility, transparency, and innovation. That's a mission that I absolutely resonate with. So here's part of their research. They said trust in medical science has grown in US, but mainly among Democrats. It's actually dropped among Republicans. So I guess the independents might be the other ones where that's happened. You can look at pewresearch.org. You can see the link there. But before this COVID crisis, uh, there wasn't great trust in medical scientists and not great trust in scientists overall. But since COVID, the Democrats have a much greater trust in uh, medical science and a much greater trust in general science. Republicans dropped a little bit, just 1% in medical science and stayed the same with scientists in general. So statista.com, these are published facts. These are published death rates. I'm gonna encourage you to look at that, but here we have about the, you know, the top dozen or so states in terms of corona death rate, right? So for instance, let's say that we had our smallest population state, and that might be North Dakota, I don't know. Uh, but but you know, if they had a, a thousand deaths there because the population is so small, that would be mega compared to New York. But we got New York, New Jersey, Connecticut leading the death rate. And think about how serious, that's all of New York State, but what if we looked at New York City, which somehow, some way, so many people are dying from COVID. So these are the uh, governor colors of each state, right? So the blue states are Democratic and the red states are Republican. Notice that we have 24 Democratic states, 26 Republican. District of Columbia is Democratic. Um, Puerto Rico is new progressive Republican. But now let's see how the death rate falls down. New York, Democrat. New Jersey, Democrat. Connecticut, Connecticut Democrat. Then we got Massachusetts. Number four happens to be Republican. Number five, Democrat. Number six, Democrat. Number seven, Democrat. Number eight, Democrat. Number nine, Democrat. Number 10, Democrat. Hmm. Okay, how does this happen? How now are so many more people dying uh, in democratic states. It's 41 of 44 districts with the highest COVID death are Democrats. That's 93.2%, greater than 90% uh, when it comes to states in general. Now let's look at the bottom dozen. Well, remember we, we kind of wore out the, the democratic uh, list, um, you know, going through the, the top death states. Now we get to the bottom and we've got nine of the bottom 12 death rates, Republican, and even Texas. Texas, huge state. We got Houston, we got Dallas, we got San Antonio, we got Austin, we got mega states, we got plenty of personal interaction. Why so few deaths? That is a question to ponder. So we could go to John Maxwell, certainly nonpartisan leadership expert, solid spiritual guy. He says, everything rises and falls on leadership. 
So is there some leadership consistency or lack of leadership consistency that we need to look at? Pretty profound. Remember this quote, crime, money, power, drugs, all linked. Is it a crime to taint statistics that could influence public policy? We know that a lot of COVID deaths were really not from COVID, but a person who happened to die, maybe stage four cancer, maybe hit by a bus, maybe you know, eaten by a shark, um, called a COVID death. So is it a crime to mislead the public? Is it a crime to put COVID people into nursing homes? And believe it or not, yeah, New York did that. Uh, couldn't discriminate against them. Super high death rate. Uh, how about money? How about power? How about drugs? Uh, notice they don't mention, mention vitamins. They don't say crime, money, power. Vitamins are all linked, um, right? They crime, money, power, drugs. Let's all pay attention to that because I'm pretty sure this is a published fact and not an opinion. Truth Seekers Academy is coming soon. If you want a part of that, 11 weeks to create your best self, your best life, based on what? Fact and science. Facts and science. I'm Dr. Bob Rakowski absolutely knowing that we can all be happy, healthy, and successful.